Hello, welcome back to my channel. Appreciate each and every one of you. Today, I'm going to catch up on my junk journal, July 2024. I hope everyone is having a great day today, and I appreciate everyone coming to watch my videos. So, Junk Journal July 2024 is hosted by Meg's Journals and Get Messy Art. Um, and I was behind on a few pages, so I wanted to show you. I am all caught up now. So I want to show you prompt 26, which is shade, and prompt 27 and 28. Um, and 27 was poetic, and today is buttons. So shade, I did not know. I was at a loss. I didn't know what to come up with. So I was talking to my boyfriend one day, or yesterday, and he said, well, you could use shade tree. <laughs> I thought, well, I don't have anything to make a shade tree with or anything like that. So what I did, I just looked through a magazine and found a shade tree. So that is what I used for to um, shade for July 26th prompt, which is right here. I had no idea what to come up with, so that's not like a good idea, so I just went with that. Okay, and then July 27th, which would have been yesterday, is poetic. I used some Timu paper for the background. And this poem is a really sad poem, but I've I've seen it somewhere before and I liked it. So I went ahead and printed it off the internet because I didn't know which poem to use. Um, so it is a very sad poem, but I'm going to read it anyways. It's the end of the road and it's written by Christina Georgina Rosette. And it says, when I come to the end of the road and the sun has set for me, I want no rights in a gloom-filled room. Why cry for why cry for a soul set free? Miss me a little, but not for long, and not with your head bowed low. Remember the love that once we shared. Miss me, but let me go. For this is a journey we all must take, and each must go alone. It's all a part of the master plan, a step on the road to home when you are lonely and sick at heart go the friends we know laugh at all the times we used to do miss me but let me go when i am dead my dearest sing no sad songs for me plan thou no rose at my head nor shady cypress tree be the green grass above me with shadow showers and dew drops wet and if thou wilt remember, and if thou wilt forget, I shall not see the shadows, I shall not fear the rain, I shall not hear the night tingle, sing on as if in pain. And dreaming through the twilight that both not rise nor set, happily I may remember and happily I may forget. So that is my poetic page. Now for today is 28 and it's buttons and I'm all caught up. <laughs> so what I did for this page, Susan's Heartstrings, a very sweet lady. She has a channel here on YouTube and I'll leave her a link down below. She gifted me this journal and friend mail one day and I really, really want to thank her for that. I didn't know what I wanted to do for buttons. So I thought I'll just get this book that Susan gifted me and use a few things out of that. And that is what I did. So she had this pattern piece in here and that is what I used for the background of my page. I wanna put the other piece back in here cause I don't wanna lose it. If I can remember where it went. This is a very nice journal, very creative. And I pulled this pattern piece out from here and I wanna put the other part back. So I won't lose that. Um, so thank you, Susan, again for this journal. I really appreciate it. So this is the um, pattern piece I used. And there also is another piece of paper in here with the pattern on it. It has pattern counter. So the prompt is buttons. What I did, I got my sewing machine out. I stitched around the edges and I hand sewed the buttons on. So this is going to be, um, <clears throat> I guess, kind of like a tag, I guess you could say. 
I'm gonna put it in this pocket I made. Now this was gifted to me by Kimmy's Kitchen More a while back ago, long time ago, and I saved it. And it's a McCall's pattern. So I used one of those um, and sewed around the edges and put hand sewed the buttons on each corner. And I made a pocket out of that. So I'm gonna glue this pocket on here. I didn't want to give up on this journal because these prompts are kind of difficult, some of them. And I went this far and I've really enjoyed this um, month in doing Junk Journal July 2024. And I, I think I've also made a really pretty journal out of it. And I really enjoyed watching everyone else's channels that was involved in this collaboration. This is just a few more days. It'll be over. You only got three more prompts. Now the 29th, like tomorrow, is contrast. That's kind of hard for me too because I really don't know what to do for that. So I got to think of that. But at least I'm caught up. I appreciate everyone for um, watching. And here is the... I guess you could say this is just like a journaling card because I could still journal on here. I mean, you could still see something if you write it on there. So let's stick this in here. I didn't know if it'd go in there with the buttons on the bottom, but yep. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And come back tomorrow for contrast um, and see what I come up with. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video.